Hi Terror Tribe, it's Ethne and welcome to a exploration video of my current Lenormand, my Lenormand, very sexy language, Lenormand um, decks. I have, this is a rare thing, I actually went and bought coffee today. That is how tired I am. So if I look tired, I am tired. <clears throat> and if I'm doing that a lot, it's because I'm not very well. But I get to give you a bit of an insight in how my I do my business and how I run everything. I get an allotted amount of time every week to do all of my recording for everything. Um, and my the woman that is lovely enough to look after my son for those few hours I get a week um, is going away next week so I'm trying to cram everything in so I'm still doing it while I'm not feeling well so <clears throat> so we're gonna have a look at the decks that I've got for my Lenaman collection and it's one that's like all of my decks is, is increasing but it's relatively small and um and I say that it's relatively small I really should say it's tiny in comparison <laughs> to my tarot and oracle other oracle decks generic oracle deck collection but I wanted to share anyway especially um, how I've created my own deck and um, there's the course over at the Tarot Readers Academy now for learning the Lenormand. It was a course that I was running face to face and obviously it's better when you can do it online and have videos and record it and people can go back and watch it and take notes and it's accessible to everyone who's not in Vancouver. So um, yeah, this is the small collection that I have and um, let's get started. So the first one is my Prince Lenormand Oracle deck. I've done an unboxing video of this deck. Um, it's playing card size. It's silver gilded. You get a little booklet. Um, I'm really proud of the backs. So this is uh, was all painted watercolor paintings. So the size of this one is on the bigger size for uh, Lenormand decks. And I'll show you in comparison to some of the other ones that I own. Um, I made sure it was nice thick cardstock. But you can still lay it out. And I have a poster that um, for the Grand Tableau, which I use a lot. And I use to teach. So that's my first deck is the Prince Lenormand. And then my second one is this the little, it's often called the Blue Owl when um, you search for it online and it has Mademoiselle Lenormand on it published by AGM it's really it's it's small and see in comparison to like a normal playing card oh, I guess this one's it's, oh what am I doing it's just a little bit smaller I guess from a poker sized see only a little bit so Lenormand decks are meant to be smaller than tarot decks or oracle decks and oracle decks tend to be bigger than tarot decks because you are supposed to really lay it out in a grand tableau so you get a little booklet um it has the grand tableau and it has it has like a few really good tips in it and has a sample reading in the back so, like, for example, card number 22, Roads, or Crossroad. This card, when surrounded by clouds or other cards, bad omens foretells misfortune. When this card is located away from the key card and not near the cards of bad sign, it suggests that there are ways of being able to avoid danger. <clears throat> so, with the Lenormand system, the Lenormand, I'm butchering that, system, proximity is key. So when you look at the cards you're looking at them overall so this also is really cool I'm gonna see if I can because it has little pros on it each card has a little and be careful there are many versions of this deck um, and not all of them have English writing so I mean, there are many of you who aren't English speakers who watch my videos so just make sure you get the right languaged um, version for yourself. So for example, this is the 
man, this principal card shows a man in full view, held high in regard to tell fortunes for you, and upon your behest, if the cards are read well, the worst and the best the cards will foretell. In the house. A stately house beyond the gate bestows good fortune upon your fate. In love and play, your chance to win depends on ways you first begin. Fox. The fox is sly, a friend is too. Someone may try to deceive you. With wily glances and ren renard snapes, snaps, avoid new tra chances, beware old traps. <gasps> Laborious today in my language. So this is a very traditional um, deck, Lenormand deck. It has the number, but it does not have the playing card. Now there is another type of blue um, owl that instead of the pros in the top middle there, it has the playing card. I got the one with the pros because I, I quite like that. I think it's very sweet. So that's the blue owl deck. And then I love this one, um, the mystical Lenormand. I love it. It's so pretty. It's very well used. It's well worn. The box is like going to fall apart. I need to find a trunk for all my Lenormand decks so they're not inside my collection of normal ones. So this was published by AGM again. Same size as the Blue Owl. And by Regula Elizabeth Fietcher. If I said that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um... This is, oh, I have a first edition. The book is all in English and it's 34 pages long. And it has explanations of the cards. It has information about the Grand Tableau. Um, it shows you in which ways you can read the Grand Tableau. <clears throat> so, that's pretty cool and I love, one thing I love about this is it's backs. It doesn't matter that if your deck is reversible or not because Lenormand is always read upright. Again, no playing card references in this deck. You don't need to have a one with a playing card reference on it. Does anyone else think of Thor? Thor riding a unicorn! I mighty thought riding a unicorn here to tell your fortune. Oh dear. Um, I really love the love the artwork in this. Like it's so rad. I just really and yes, I still say that. But they do have symbols. See the planetary symbols on the top corner there. So it's a bit different. It's not. Um, they have symbols, not not the playing cards. Same, yeah, same size. So it's a smaller, smaller size card. Really pretty. Yeah, so that's my Thoid deck. And then my fourth and final deck is the Gilded Reverie Lenormand by the one and the only Chiro Manchat Machetti. Oh my god, I actually knew how to say that. I own this man, all of this man's decks, all of his tarot and all of his oracle decks, so I'm sorry for butchering your name just then. Um, so this is again 36 cards. It's published by US Game Systems. It's a beautiful box. It has... Um, it's gilded, obviously, but it has the little magnetic clip, so your cards will never go, um, never fall out of the box. It is gilded, it's gold gilded, but it is much bigger um, than a normal one. So this, it's quite bigger. It's so when you're doing a grand tableau, you're going to need a lot of space. I guess I'm saying. This does, I'm just going to make sure they're all up. 
the right way, I know. Um, this does have the playing cards. I mean, his artwork, it's just, I'll show you the back. So pretty. His artwork is just so rad. I mean, I love Digital manipulation is either done extraordinarily well or it looks the worst. <laughs> Some, you know, I would rather stick figures than terrible digital manipulation, digital augmented photos, cards. And there are a lot of them out there. Um, most of them are done very well. I've seen some bad ones though. Beautiful depiction of the Lenormand. Really easy to read. A lot of my students have this deck. Show you a couple more. It reads like a dream. It's so inviting. Um, it's very vivid. So it draws you in. Um, the book is quite nice. It's 47 pages long. It's a pretty good little white book. It jumps pretty much straight in. It has an introduction and then it jumps right back in. And what I love about this book is, for example, the writer. He has a little bit like as if the card is talking to you. I'm always bringing news. Look around me to see what it includes. I might be coming to visit or bring you some changes. I am fast and always on the move. If you see a negative card close by, you will probably not enjoy the reply. So it kind of reminds me of the pros in the blue, um, the blue owl, um, which is really rad. I love it. So they spend, he spends a lot of time on the actual cards, which I just adore. Um, and then at the back of the book, there is card spreads and meanings. And Tali Goodwin, um, who's done so many books, uh, written so many books, and is a part of Tarot of Philosophy, um, has done the fortune telling spreads. And then Rana George, what's up, girl? Uh, the lovely Rana George, who wrote The Essential Lenormand, the best selling that, that book is Amaze has done a one called the chocolate bar spread. So, um, and then on the back here, it has a little bit about um, how to learn more about the Lenormand. So that's my collection. Um, on my wish list, the number one on my wish list is the Celtic Lenormand. I love Mr. Worthington's artwork. Again, I own all of the decks um, that he has done. So I'm just looking for looking for that deck um, because that will be a beautiful addition. I've seen it all over the uh, interwebs and in my social media, so I can't wait to get that one. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like divination and you like tarot and oracle and spiritual and me singing randomly, then please subscribe. Um, and if you do want to learn more about the Lenormand Oracle System and how to read it, um, come on over to the Tarot Readers Academy and check out the course. Um, and there's also free courses there as well and loads on the tarot. So I hope to see you there or, and have a lovely day.